Okay, so Assalamualaikum. So me and my team will uh, will uh, present about the production of aniline. Okay. So moving on to the introduction. So aniline is an organic compound with the formula of C6, H5 and H2. It uh, usually prepared commercially through catalytic hydrogenation of nitrobenzene. Okay, so this is the compound. Next, the major application of aniline at the first is the aniline is prepared and used as the preparation of methylene diphenyl diisocyanate, which is we call the MDI. It used to create the insulator for the refrigerator, for example. Okay. Next, the market uh, market trends for the global. So we can see that this from 2020 to 2021, it has the increasing demand and it can be a good reason to build the aniline manufacturing plant to meet this type of demand. Okay, so it is estimated to reach 10.5 and 10.95 million tons in 2026. Hello everyone, I'm Kanjana and today I'm going to explain the site selection. Site selection is an important procedure in a plant design proposal. In this project, there are three locations was proposed for aniline plant production and among these three, Tanjong Langsa Pasikuran Johor was chosen as the best location for annual production after considering all the size selection criteria. At Tanjong Langsa, this large area is available and the land price also affordable and cheap compared to other two places. And we also can reduce the shipping cost of the raw material since there are many benzene ammonia suppliers available at the industry area. For example, Titan Petrochemical, Pride Camp Industry, Sandia Barhat. And they also have airport port road facilities are available which provided efficient transportation facility and people can easily access to the site. For example, North South Expressway, Tanjung Palapas Port, Sanai International Airport. There is also a great source of labor available since there are many public and universities are available. For example, UTM, UTHM, UNICAL and so on. The electricity supplied by the TNB and the water supplied by the Sharika Ahir Johor are at affordable price for high usage of the water and electricity. And there is also a wide range of market supply opportunities that are available since the area is surrounded by many industry companies. For example, Sunwar Pharmaceutical Unifog Medicine. We also can supply med aniline to universities for laboratory purpose. The tech incentives applied to all the locations are same. And the major tax are investment tax allowance, final status, and reinvestment. Is about product information, so we are going to discuss about three possible reaction for the production of aniline. So for the first part reaction is the hydrogenation of nitrobenzene, which is took place at a temperature below 330 degrees Celsius and pressure of 1.4 bar. Uh, so will be expected of 99 selectivity of aniline and then for the second reaction is the ammonialysis of fluorobenzene or the phenol that occur at the temperature of 180 till 220 with a pressure around 100 ppm and in the presence of catalyst so uh, for the selectivity will be expected around 91 percent so next, uh, for the last reaction is the emanation of benzene, which is occur at temperature of three, below uh, 330, 350 and 300 bar. And for the selectivity will be expected around uh, 79%. My name is my name is Nur Al Ain and I'll be presenting the process selection of the three reaction pathway mentioned previously by comparing each of their gross profit analysis. First of all, this is the prices of the chemical compound involved in the three reaction pathway. All these prices were obtained from the ICIS 2020. For the first reaction pathway, we can see here the amount of the gross profit analysis is obtained by RM 1.925 per kilogram aniline. Secondly, the re second reaction pathway is expected to give RM negative 1.560 per kilogram aniline of gross profit analysis. The last reaction pathway, which is the amination of the benzene, gives R negative RM 1.685 per kilogram aniline for the gross profit analysis. Hence, by this, we have justified to choose pathway 1, which is hydrogenation of the nitrobenzene. 
This is because it had it is the only reaction pathway that give positive value for the gross profit analysis. Next, it also have the highest selectivity compared to the other pathway, which is more than ninety nine percent of aniline. Also, there is no hazardous products released into the environment since hydrogen continuously continuously recycle back. And it is also widely applied and well-established reaction for aniline production. Lastly, re this reaction also can reduce the cost of operation since inexpensive catalysts and low-cost reactants are used. So this is the flow sheet for the, our production of aniline, which is consists of mixture, uh, and then the reactor, the gas liquid separator, and to the solution column to separate the desired product, which is the aniline. Process hydrogen and nitrobenzene will be supplied at 1 atm 25 degrees Celsius. The pressure of the hydrogen will be increased to 1.4 atm and then heated to 350 degrees Celsius, while the nitrobenzene will be heated to the boiling point and before supplied to the vaporizer in order to change from the liquid to gas phase and as well to increase the temperature. After that, the two reactant stream will be mixed in the mixer before supplied to the fixed spec reactor. The fixed spec reactor operates at temperature 350 and 1.4 atm. Since aniline production is the exothermic process, the output stream temperature will be 427 degrees Celsius and the products are aniline, water and nitrobenzene. The outlet stream of the reactor go through a valve to reduce the stream pressure from 1.4 to 1 atm before it enters the condenser. Next, the condenser which operates at 90 degree and 1 atm is used to separate the hydrogen from the other components. The separated hydrogen gas is recycled back in the recycle stream and go through a cooler to cool down the temperature from 90 to 25 degree before mixed with the fresh hydrogen stream. The stream containing aniline, water and nitrobenzene is heated to 107.4 which is the bubble point temperature for the liquid mixture before fit into the dis first distillation column. The first distillation column is aimed to separate the nitrobenzene from aniline and water. The bottom stream, which is the nitrobenzene, go through a pump to increase the stream pressure from 1 to 1.4 atm before enter the vaporizer. The distillate stream of the first distillation column go through a cooler to reduce to its liquid mixture bubble point, which is 98.5 degree, before fit into the, the into the second distillation column. Water will be separated from aniline at 100 degrees C and aniline exit as bottom product and ready for storage. Summary of our project, which is include the total mass storage uh, of the production of aniline. So I uh, will be expected to have uh, 175 metric ton per year for the aniline. So that's all from us. Thank you.